I'm Austin Hack. I'm from Old Lyme, Connecticut. I started rowing at age 12 uh, for the Learn to Row program in our town, Blood Street Skulls. You know, I think I'm the right build for it. My parents, having done it in college, encouraged me to do it. Um, and yeah, you know, it kind of just sucks you and you just keep going from there. I loved going to Stanford. Uh, obviously, it's a hard choice for everyone coming out of high school where they want to go to school. And I think Stanford was an awesome fit for me. You, know, you just spend so much time together and you spend so much time close to each other because you're all literally in the same boat. Uh, and I think when you kind of endure hardship through workouts and good rows, bad rows, the ups and downs, I think that really brings everyone together. Uh, and then you're together before the row, you're together after the row, you're probably together when you're eating your meals. So I think you just have so many shared experiences and so many, so many shared emotions that uh, after a while it just creates a really tight bond. Something that I, I remember from my childhood that my dad once said to me is uh, I was on our back porch and he told me to rake up some leaves and I was lazy and I was in you know elementary school or middle school or something I did a pretty shoddy job and he said you know you gotta do better than this you gotta have some pride in your workmanship. Uh, I mean I think it, at its very simplest you know it, it's pretty much thinking all right so you've got a dream for yourself and everybody's got dreams for themselves. Uh, and you find yourself with a day sitting at a start line, knowing that in the next 10 minutes, it's going to be decided whether you have the chance to realize that dream or not. And rarely in our lives do we have the chance for such an important moment in such a short period of time, where you know it's going to happen and you know that it's, it's binary, it's yes or it's no. So I think that really kind of brings into perspective the amount of pressure, uh, the amount of drive, but also the amount of excitement knowing that you're living through it and that it's the present day and that you know you're really coming face to face with what you want to become.